Jake Ludington here at HP Discover in Frankfurt, Germany. And I'm here with Jeff Kyle to talk about what was new in mission critical computing. Thanks, Jake. Really appreciate it. Today we launched our new line of i4 servers. Those are mission critical integrity servers running HPUX. We've refreshed the Superdome 2 to i4, and we've refreshed our C Class 7000 blades, the BL860, 870, 890 to i4, and an RX2800 two socket server to i4. i4 designates Intel's 9500 Itanium processor, which delivers twice the number of cores three times the performance and 33% TCO savings for our customers, all using less power. So it's been pretty exciting here with this HPUX and Integrity introduction. All right, let's take a look at what you've got in the uh, chassis behind us. Great, let's do it. This is the BL870C i4 blade. This is part of the C-Class blade system chassis, uh, HP's converged infrastructure blade system chassis. And we've just launched and updated the BL860, 870, and 890 Integrity Server Blades to the i4 systems. That incorporates Intel's 9500 processor, which comes in eight cores, four cores. Um, so we've doubled the number of cores. We've also more than doubled the performance. In fact, we've got benchmarks to share with customers that show three times the performance in the same for fa form factor. Uh, basically delivering a 33% TCO savings and using less energy at the same time. So this is a great converged infrastructure story. And of course, this same chassis fits both Proliant blades and Integrity blades. Um, and as we can see from this BL870C, it actually uses two two socket building blocks and then uses a blade link to connect them. I can actually put two other blades in here and actually use another blade link to connect and scale up to eight sockets with these C-Class blades. So great performance improvements, great savings for customers, uh, but also investment protect protection by using that same C-Class chassis. Along with the C-Class blades that we've delivered, we've also launched our next generation Superdome 2. Uh, both of the blades in the C-Class and this new Superdome 2 i4 generation incorporate Intel's 9500 processors. The latest processor, codename was Pulsen, uh, delivering, delivering twice the number of cores and up to three times the performance in the same form factor, all using less power. So we've delivered these i4 blades in Superdome and in C-Class with HPUX. So the latest version of HPUX is all ready to go. All our ISVs, of course, with HPUX support binary compatibility that we deliver, meaning no recertification of applications. In this Superdome 2 class system, you know, we have two socket blades, and now those two socket blades will come with eight socket processors, or eight cores per socket, so a full scalable 16 socket, and by connecting two chassis together, a full scalable 32 socket, doubling the number of cores, tripling the performance, 33% TCO savings in these new converged infrastructure platforms. And as we've seen, uh, we've gone from the Intel 9300 to the 9500, and we also have the next generation ready to come when Intel provides kits into us, and we'll be able to do that in this same converged infrastructure chassis. So not only with the C7000, but with the Superdome 2 chassis, which will deliver three generations of Itanium processors supporting HPUX and keep customers going into the next decade.